So on that slide, we can see an equipment that is called smart gas lift from Silverwell artificial lift. What is that equipment? Basically, it's a gas lift valve that we can control from the surface. So we can see a picture of that equipment just there. And on the right part of the slide over there, we can see a general schematic of a gas lift completion that would be equipped with that equipment. So you've got basically those parts over there are tubing sections. We've got three of those smart gas lifts. So they are basically like gas lift modules. And in that completion, there is one side pocket module that is installed on the top of each of these smart gas lift. This is basically as a backup in case this smart gas lift equipment failed, then you can always go back to a standard gas lift configuration using the side pocket gas lift modules. So each of these smart gas lift are connected to the surface by an electric cable that we can see in yellow over there. So they are all connected through the same electric cable and you have a surface control panel at surface so we can see how it looks like over there. So you've got one small panel like that for each smart gas lift module and you're gonna use that panel to open or close the gas lift valve that is in your smart gas lift module. So each valve in that smart gas lift module has the configuration that we can see over there. So basically it has six different orifices. So each orifice having a different size. And you can control the opening and the closing of each of these orifices independently using that surface panel. Why do I have six different ones in instead of one? Well, this way I can have multiple orifice size with one single smart gas lift module. So basically by opening the number two and the number five orifice as it is done in that example, I have a much smaller orifice size than if I open all of them. This is smartly designed as each of these orifices got a different size. So basically, if I open the number six plus the number five, I will have a different total port size than if I open the number three and the number four at the same time. So having six different orifices of different size that I can open and close independently, I end up having a very, very wide range of orifice size available with one single smart gas lift module. So this is the first feature that you have in that smart gas lift module. You can open and close from the surface each of these single orifice there. And therefore you've got a wide range of orifice size available Second feature, each smart gas lift module is equipped with two pressure sensors, one that will measure the casing pressure and one that will measure the tubing pressure. So with that kind of configuration, you can easily imagine that it becomes very easy to make your unloading sequence. You don't have to calculate any casing opening or closing pressure and the valve calibration pressure. You just need to start injecting your gas lift and once you see that your casing pressure at the smart gas lift module number one is higher than the tubing pressure well you just open your valves and once you see that the casing pressure at the smart gas lift module number two is higher than the tubing pressure at the smart gas lift module number two you can open the valve over there and then close them on the smart gas lift module number one. So all that can be decided by surface by reading the actual pressure coming from the gauge. So this makes it very, very easy to operate with precision. Once you reach your final smart gas lift module, then you can adjust the size of your orifice as you want to reach the critical rate and that way you can have a perfectly stable 
gas lift rate through that smart gas lift module, which will act as your operating valve. So the biggest advantage of that system is that you won't need any slick line operation if you want to change your gas lift design. So basically, if at the beginning of your well life, you can only inject your gas lift through the first smart gas lift mandrel. If with time you are not able to inject through the second valve, you can see directly using the gauge that will measure the pressure at that second smart gas lift mandrel. And you don't need to do any gas lift design change. You can just use your surface control panel to then change the injection point from the first to the second smart gas lift mandrel. And obviously, as the gas lift injection becomes possible through the third gas lift mandrel, well, again, you can just use your surface control panel to close that second smart gas lift mandrel and therefore start injecting through the third smart gas lift mandrel. So, big advantage, you can save all the slick line operation costs to perform your gas lift design change and you've got a full flexibility and a full control of your gas lift injection point. The biggest disadvantage is that it relies on one electric cable that you will run from the surface. So in case you've got a failure in one of these electrical equipment, well, you're gonna lose the control of the smart gas lift module. So this disadvantage can easily be overcome by using the configuration that is described there, which is to install a side pocket gas lift mandrel right next to your smart gas lift mandrel. In that case, if you have a failure of your smart gas lift mandrel system, you just go back to a standard configuration and you don't need to pull out of hole your completion to keep on operating your well with gas lift. The second disadvantage is that this will obviously be more expensive than just using a standard gas lift completion. I don't know the exact cost of that equipment, but I do believe that you can get a return investment with this type of equipment and that it is a very, very smart equipment that can really get you to maximize your production.